287G is a 1996 law that was designed to expand the power of Immigration and Customs Enforcement to apprehend illegal aliens in the United States. Not many Americans believe that not catching every single illegal alien that we can is, is, is a good idea. What concerns me is the absolute and total lack of accuracy from the people at the ACLU just now. They had very close brushes with the truth, but never quite actually got there. We are saving American lives by using 287G. It's demonstrable. A message that's being sent loud and clear in Gwinnett County. If you are in the country illegally and you commit a crime, you could be deported. The program called 287G was just approved and it has people on both sides of the immigration debate sounding off. 287G has in fact led to an atmosphere of terror uh, in the community where immigrants are afraid to talk to the police or contact the police. The intent of the 287G, as I mentioned, and as ICE and uh, Cobb County itself had claimed, was to go after hardened criminals, to rid the community of hardened criminals, to make the community safer for all of us. But unfortunately, the program, the way it's been implemented, uh, the actual effect has been to go after immigrant uh, members of our community, hardworking members of our community, and to go after them for minor traffic violations. Another thing that our report emphasizes is the effect that 287G implementation has had on separation of families. Uh, families have been torn apart. We've had instances where mothers have been deported and leaving children, in one instance, three children under the age 10 behind. Fathers have been deported, mothers have been deported, and children have been left apart. Again, these are people with no criminal violations, no criminal charges, and it's just not clear at all how 287G has helped the community in any way. As I understand 287G, uh, it was part of the 2008 regulations from the Department of Homeland Security, which of course is a new agency created in the last few years. So one question that immediately comes to mind is, did the Bush administration in the last year of office have the authority under existing law to even write these regulations, and are they consistent with the U.S. Constitution, are they consistent with international human rights treaties? And are they consistent with prior statutes? And those are legal questions that have not yet been tested in the courts. So I would raise a lot of questions as to whether it's even legal inherently, let alone how it's implemented. Um, hi, Hello. my name is Adelina Nichols. I am the executive director of the Georgia Latino Alliance for Human Rights. For more than three years, we have um, followed how we have been the, two, the implementation of the 287G agreement. We have thousands of files in cases that are reported uh, that people have been detained on their minor traffic violations. We have seen many cases of uh, family separation uh, and also a lot of uh, issues of racial profiling. We have been uh, concerned about the, this implementation and we have raised our concerns to the uh, Department of Homeland Security in order for us to ask on a revision of the 287G as well to denounce and in front of you these uh, abuses of uh, racial profiling in the way that the uh, Sheriff County uh, Neil Warren have implemented the 287G. We are really concerned and uh, here that's the reason that uh, we are at this time and you are welcome to come to the office to visit and to see all the... Uh,